In this video, we'll look at the differences between count and sum in SQL Server. This is actually an incredibly common interview question. It's not too difficult to know the differences between them. However, under pressure in an interview, it's all too easy to get them confused. So let's have a look at the count function. And in all these examples, we'll be looking at the AdventureWorks database and there is the human resources employee table. So that's the one we will be looking at today. So first of all, count, let's look at count. And the syntax is to use count star in brackets. And sometimes I put column names in. So let's see what that does. So count counts the number of rows in a database. So now we'll run a sum query. So sum adds up all the values in a particular column. You see the sum of the vacation hours is equal to 14,678. So count counts the number of rows and sum adds up column values. Now let's have a look at these two functions in more detail. So the first thing to bear in mind is that both use identical WHERE clauses. So here we can look for employees whose gender is female. So this is the number of female employees and we can use SUM to find the total vacation hours of female employees. I should just point out that instead of using count star, you can put a particular column name in. So we can do select count vacation hours, or we can do count star. And for this particular query, we do actually get the same result. Be very careful when using count star or count a particular column name because the results aren't always the same. Let's look at these two queries. So count star, we get 290 employees. But if we run this query, count organization level level, we only get 289 employees. So what is going on here? Let's have a look at the table itself. So if we select the table itself, it's, sorry, can't see this, but it does say there are 290 rows, so there are definitely 290 employees. The problem is this employee has a null value for organization level. Uh, why? Because he's the CEO, so obviously there is nobody above him in the organization level. So there is a null value here, which is really important concept. So just remember, if you are counting a particular column name, it will not count null values. This one, count star, will return all of the rows. So you may get asked that in a job interview. Also, I guess it's fairly obvious, but some will also ignore null values. Let's do two more queries to look at sum in a bit more detail. So you can sum various different types of column and birth date is a, a date time field. So you can't actually sum dates, you can't add up all lots of dates. And organization node, can we do that? No, this is a special field type, so we can't sum that. So one other thing to be wary of, if you are summing, then you might get unexpected results if you have a field that's mixed with uh, numbers in it and also character text data. So if you have an untidy database, then you might get unexpected results with sum or it may not work at all. So to summarize, count counts the number of columns in a database table and sum adds up the values in that database column. You can use count star here, count star, to count all of the rows in a database table. And you can use count 
a specific column name as well, although just be aware that null values are not counted if you do this. And once again, sum adds up numeric values in a column. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.